Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today, we're gonna unbox this Creality Sia 100 3D printer. I am really excited about this unboxing. Before that, this video is sponsored by Thomson Electronics. They are the best dealers in commercial suppliers of electronic components in India with high quality products at a reasonable price. Check them out. Link is in the video description. Let's open the box and see what's inside it. This 3D printer is priced around 170 US dollars and is designed for kids. It is very lightweight. After opening the first box, we can see another box with a handle at the top. Let us grab it out. This is the boxing of the small 3D printer. The Creality Sia 100 3D printer's picture on the front side and also the Creality branding on the top side of the box. We are getting the blue color variant of the 3D printer and it is also available in three other color variants to choose from. On the top side of the box we are having the company information and also the Creality Sia 100 branding as well as on the both sides of the box. Let's open the box and see what we have got inside it. The first thing we will see is the user manual and some other important stuff. A spatula to scrape off the prints and also some foam packaging. After that we can see the printer itself. As mentioned in the box we are right here with the blue variant. Let's weight around 2 kilograms. Let us keep it aside. A good quality power cord which is USA type and it is approximately equal to 3 meters long and also a spool holder and also in the box we are having a white PLA which weights around half kilograms and which is the creative PLA and a small IR remote with 3 buttons. Let's open the small package. Inside the user manual, we are getting instructions plus pictures both in English and Chinese languages to operate the 3D printer and also some tapes to stick on to the bed. An extra print bed and some guarantee paper box. A long needle to clean the nozzle. A card reader with 8 GB of SD card a small spanner to tighten the nozzle and other screws in the 3D printer two clips to hold on the bed while printing let's unwrap the cover and take a look at the printer so far the packaging was really amazing the printer looks like a toy truck to attract the kids and a good creality logo on the downside of the printer. The nozzle is fitted with some foam packaging. It is to avoid any damages while shipping. And going to the downside of the printer, we can see the micro SD card slot and the micro USB connector port. Also the power connector and air vent. It is to blow off the hot air from the controller board inside the printer. On the next side of the 3D printer, we can see the extruder, which is used to push filaments to the nozzle. Along with it, we can see some warning symbols. Also, the hole to fix the spool holder to attach the filaments. It is very easy to fix. On the front side of the 3D printer, we can see the power switch and a good flexible bed with Creality branding on top of it. And also, we can stick the tapes to increase the quality of the print and an IR receiver to control the 3D printer. At the top of the 3D printer, we can see the OLED display three push buttons 
The first one is to start and stop the printer. The second one is used to home all the axis of the 3D printer. The third one is used to heat and cool the nozzle. Okay, now let's test the 3D printer. Connect the micro SD card to the computer and install the Creality Slicer software. After that, open the software and load the STL file for printing. Once it's done, click on save. Insert the micro SD card with the G code. After that, attach the power code. Then turn on the printer. Click on the home button. Then load the PLA to the extruder. The printer has 100 by 100 by 80 mm print size. This spiral vessel took around one and a half hours to print with an amazing print quality. As you can see, there is no major issues to say. Overall, this print came out pretty good. Now, let us see a time lapse of the print with some orange PLA filament. These are some of the test prints I have done so far with the printer. The printed parts uses white PLA as well as orange PLA. The white PLA was included with the printer and the orange PLA which I was having. These models were downloaded from Thinkiverse and sliced with Cura software with the default settings. The printer has done an excellent job. This print was done by the common PLA which I have. This print turned around way more than I expected only with some minor cooling issues. Also, I have tested the dual color print which was a success. This was the printing quality of CR100 3D printer. If I have to say the bad side of this printer, I would say the heating nozzle took way more than us I expected to heat up. And then the deficiency of heat bed leads to ruin the print quality sometimes. Moreover, excluding these defects, the CR100 is an excellent 3D printer. This was the unboxing and review of the CR100 3D printer. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This is Seno Modif signing out.